Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to conduct the stress analysis on a wave group pulley. And we are going to plot the maximum equivalent stress and the deformation. The loading conditions are a torque of 1 Newton meter is transmitted by the pulley and the material of the pulley is grey cast iron. Open ANSYS workbench. In the left side, you can find various toolboxes. So this analysis comes under static structural. So I'm selecting static structural, drag it and drop it here. First I'm going to change uh, the material. So right click on engineering data and click edit. You can see that uh, the predefined material is structural steel. So to define new material, you can add new materials here or otherwise if it is a general material, you can select engineering data sources. And in that you can choose general material and in the general material you can see various materials are available in that I am going to choose grey cast iron. In this click the plus symbol to add the material to our engineering data. Now click the engineering data sources you can see grey cast iron is present here. Now go to project. Next I am going to import uh, the geometry, so right click on the geometry and choose import geometry and choose browse and select the file pulley.igs. Next right click on the model and choose edit. Now you can see that the geometry is imported inside the workbench. First I am going to mesh it. So right click on the mesh and choose generate mesh. Next to define the material I am selecting the plus symbol near the geometry and I am selecting pulley. And in that you can see that the predefined material is structural steel. So you can click that and you can change it to grey cast iron. Next I am going to apply the boundary conditions. Click static structural. So here I am going to fix the hole inside. Next I am going to apply the moment at the groove. So first I am going to fix it support. Click control. Select these two phases and click apply. Next I am going to apply the moment. So select static structural, go to moment, click control and select these six phases. Now we can define the moment by two methods. One is by vector and another one is by components. So I am selecting components. And you can see that we are going to apply moment about Z axis. So I am defining the load in the Z component. So it is 1 Newton meter. So if you directly don't know the value of uh, torque, then you can calculate from the power using the power speed and torque relation. Next click the solution. Right click on that. Go to insert. And I want equivalent stress then I want total deformation okay. then click solve now the solution is done so you can click the equivalent stress. You can see that the maximum stress is 6.56 e power 5 Pascal. Okay. So the red color indicates the maximum. You can see that the maximum stress is acting in the hub. So if you want to point the location at which the maximum stress occurs then you can select the maximum you can also select the 
minimum stress location. So if you want to animate this, then you can press the play option. Now to save this as an image, go to images, select image to file and define a name for this. So I have created the image file. Next go to total deformation and you can see that the total deformation is 9.8 e power 7 meter. You can also animate this. You can see that the maximum deformation occurs at the groove. Okay. Now the outcome of this work, so you can see that the maximum stress is around 6.5. And we know the ultimate stress of the material as it is a brittle material, we know the ultimate stress. So we can compare the ultimate stress of the material with this maximum stress acting on this pulley and we can identify whether the design is safe or not. Thank you.